Yeah, right. Go to work. Go to work. <laughs> oh, I can't do that right now because I have to get through this damn salamander monk. Alright, well that's fine. Sure, you can have your shield. So I'll just slash you. Slash you. And then hop on this shrine right here. Uh, you come around the corner. Uh, I don't think I can dish, not, dish out enough damage. Shoot him. Shoot him. Move back. Kill him. Hurt him. But not enough to kill him. Stay away from the damn edges, because he has good knockback, so he can easily... When he attacks, he's going to hit one of us, so... Form a spirit wall with those two. Uh, you come up here. You start coming up here as well. Damn, my general got the shit shocked out of him. And he wants to eat a skull. Oh, well, he has two moments. Another skull. Eat all the skulls you want. I'm gonna kill you next turn, so... That's just reassuring for me. But... You can come on up, because I don't give a shit about you. Uh, come around this corner. Shoot his ass up. Make his ass a fucking pin cushion. And let's get him move on. I might actually summon another archer. I actually have enough for an archer. Another demon archer. I wouldn't mind that. What's the range on that? I'm barely, I'm barely not in the circle. <laughs> How far is he? I'm still pretty far, so I'm not worried about him. First things first, there's two archers coming our way. So, if our demon archer can just rip off that good damage, that's gonna hurt, but I can heal it off. No, I can't actually. How much do our damage does a regular archer do? That's the problem. General, I'm going to have you eat some skulls and take this demon archer damage to the chin. Like I said, we have so many damn skulls, it's not even funny. Like, that's the only compensating thing in this damn round. You can get 80 without getting countered? Sure, go ahead. You can get 80 without even getting countered, then go ahead and do it. That's fine. You can't get countered. I'm behind the spirit wall. That's awesome. 
Uh, you. You're gonna go after him, so. I'm gonna have him get moved. You guys can start coming up as well. I can't do anything about getting electrocuted right there. Sure. I can easily heal that off. Sure. Oh, you're behind the sphere wall, that's right. Shoot him. Missed, okay, shoot him. Damn, missed twice! The struggle is just real. Like, really? Fuck it, you can move up. I did not see that coming, double miss, 80%. But I've been hitting a lot of 80s so far, so I really can't say much right now. Stay against the wall. You come over here, stay against the wall. You come over here, stay against the wall. Um, you, how far are you? Move you. And we'll have you start eating skulls. We might be able to summon an infantryman and start working on that as well. Because why the fuck not? I feel like they're going to wake up their general soon. That's fun. It really sucks that if it has nothing to do with rice and the shrines, it doesn't matter anyway. Alright, first things first. You. Kill the living fuck out of him. And, uh... Eat a skull. I need you at full health. Like you're you're our, you're our OTK. -er. Can you run up here and sit on this shrine? Eat a skull, because I'm gonna need you at full health, definitely. And sit on that shrine. That's as far as you can move right now. You can actually eat a skull. Start heading up here. Um, you can eat a skull. And one more turn, you'll be a demon. And demon archers are awesome, of course. We're gonna have uh, you run up here. Because he's just pretty much getting closer and closer to my area where I'll just shoot that living hell out of him with arrows. You're gonna wake up your general. General waking time. Alright. Sure, you can eat a skull. I don't care. Oh, he actually hit him. Slap him in the face. Come on. With my archer force, I will most definitely take you out this turn. There's no more, there's no micromanager or anything like that. It's just time to just take out his general. Actually, my general could actually push him, probably push him over the ledge into the lava. Uh, I think about it. No, that's not the right direction. Yeah? Mm. Ah, Okamoto is really gonna have it in for me. Crap! You said it. Now tell me where I can find Okamoto. Oh hell, guess I have nothing to lose. He, he went up to the volcano, but he'll be ready for you. Somehow I doubt that. Alright, well, I got free rum now, so. Uh. Is there really anything to do? I summon people, it really doesn't matter. So. 
we'll just have... Can I eat the general skull? No, I can't. I can I? Can I? Can I eat a skull? No, I can't. I can't. I was thinking, oh, no, might as well eat his damn skull, but no, we can't. All right, demon archer. Uh, near full health. You can eat a skull. So I gotta face Akamoto. All right, awesome. So the guy that I pretty much made super OP powerful, I gotta face. Uh, you two won't be back, but you can go ahead and eat the skull just because you put in that work. Yeah, I'll end my turn, and then it'll just pass right back to me. And, uh, with my remaining rice, I can summon an, an infantryman, and my infantryman can pretty much run around and eat skulls, and he's pretty much just gonna be a wall for me. Wall for my archers. Next level is the final out level, and oh my god, I know it's gonna be a pain in my butthole. There. Like I said, there's no point in summoning any salamander monks or anything along those lines because they're simply just gonna die anyway. But let's see, if I summon him, will it be my, uh,. My general, or what? Wait, that said I, I could eat a skull right there, didn't it? Oh, it's a skull behind it. I don't know, I don't know I'm bent on eating his skull so bad. But I believe that when I summon these two, they're just gonna be, uh... They're just gonna be, you know... Uh, demons. Yep, they're demons. Alright, well, and I won't give them for next level, so there's really no point in me summoning them. So if it ain't rice, it ain't nice. Alright, well, we can just move on now. Alright, done with this pin in the dick level. Okay, I don't care, I don't care, don't care. 